Hill, what we've been doing today is we've been putting out some brine on some of our major uh, roads, as you've referred to them on our maps, as our emergency routes, kind of your main roads in town, Timber Drive, Vendor Springs, Avisboro, some of your major highways around town. So we've been doing that most of the day, and we'll continue that for another couple of hours this afternoon. Uh, then we'll switch over a little later on this afternoon, uh, kind of close that operation down, and as the snow begins to fall, we'll kind of divert trucks over to uh, plowing those major emergency routes that you can find on our website. We've broken our uh, routes in a couple of different ways. We've got them referred to as our emergency routes, which is those major thoroughfares through town. Then we have a that's where we'll start at. Then we have a number of uh, districts, or I think five in all, that we'll plow. What we'll do is we'll assign a truck to each one of those districts once we've covered those major thoroughfares, and that'll allow us to kind of get a comprehensive look across town all at once. Uh, not just concentrate on one side at a time and work across, but rather be everywhere at once, if you will. Last year, we were approved to purchase a new brine uh, making system. We bought a new batch plant, which will produce uh, a little over 1,600 gallons an hour of brine, um, as well as a storage tank and a new applicator. Yeah, what you do is basically we have our, our batch plant set up where um, we put salt in the back. Uh, we hook a water hose up to it, a, a large diameter water hose, uh, and it pushes air uh, pushes the water through the salt. Um, once it reaches its uh, salinity, it goes over into the holding tank and then we pump it out from there uh, into the larger holding tank and then we can store that uh, all year long as we need to. And then we draw down from our large storage tank um, where we fill our applicator from and go put it out. So we've been able to expand our um, brining capabilities. Previously we were doing just spot treatments, you know, bridges, overpasses, things of that nature, some ramps. We really just spot treating this year, we're able to kind of go out and take a broader approach, at least on those major thoroughfares, and get into some of our secondary roads as well, your larger roads in your neighborhoods. So that's been a real plus for us this year to be able to expand that uh, service.